I have come that you may have life, life more abundantly. You have supported illusion for too long a time. If you expect results from secondhand illusion, you are only fooling yourself. This revelation should not come as a surprise to you. If it were to happen that a newspaper, or magazine, or radio, or television should take it upon their ethical responsibility to tell the truth of the matters to be, they would go out of business overnight. It is you, dear unsuspecting kind soul, that gives substance to the illusion. It isn't those that sell illusion that are at total fault. This is a maxim, a truism, if ever there was one, in regards to the ill-advised. They, who by ruse, subterfuge, and coercion by the powers that be have made unwitting tools to a monstrous crime. A psychological crime, being the most prevalent of all crimes. Fools are not born of this perfect cosmos. They are made that way by the powers that be. All powers that be need subjects to survive. Men have written words with meaning, such as the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. These bold words of meaning have been enshrined indeed, yet those who have been elected to uphold these powerful, equitable words act as though they did not exist after they gain office. By the powers that be controlling your every thought, they in turn use this so-called dead substance, this inner matter, to make inferior replicas of the real thing. They sell them to the unwary for a high price, and to compound this dirty trick, they control the source of the input at the stations, that no countermeasure may be used against them. This is slanderous, if not blasphemy, against their words, as to your word which comes to you from the source. It can't be stressed by the strongest of factual language, the hold that has held the masses in bondage, with only a token view of what might be freedom. Holding on to illusions is a poor substitute for the real thing. Perfection gives, it doesn't take. It has no need to uphold that which has no foundation. Foundation being all to all. This foundation is spirit in you, first and foremost. This universal mind pleads not that waste is the order of the day. It does for sure, through chosen ones, speak out in prophecies. Kindly remember that as a free agent, you don't have to vote for or give support to anyone for whatever the so-called just cause to uphold more illusion. It is only you who in the here now that can delegate power to the real you. Instead of siphoning this vital part of self-upholding illusion non-existence, the full concerted use of your faculties will be the only tools needed to turn 180 degrees about face. The enlightenment in regards to accepting the truth of the matters will be total here now. Be yourself with the I am with you always. You are a life form unique in the realm of this earthly existence. Free choices are yours. Natural law dictates that no one has any right to your mind in executing your free choice whatsoever. Taxes be damned, people came before taxes. The present state of affairs that are humankind's lot justly serves notice to one and all that something is wrong in this perfect absolute cosmos. The status quo's tricks of the trade are verbal trickery plus the gag rule. If by chance a word of truth is spoken, it is shot down by a barrage of garbage in the name of, that's his theory, which is fact is truth and not theory. In order to sell this fantasy, illusion has to be upheld. If not shot down by a barrage of garbage, they will try to enforce the gag rule as they won't let truth have its day. As truth strikes down illusion, and all business as usual can't survive without illusion, thus there can be no real education dispensed by either teacher or preacher, because truth is so simple if told in just so many factual words. This so-called education system that washes out the brains of the unwitting, the innocent, 
Just so that the lazy non-thinker with license to steal can commit a psychological crime in order to have consumers who will buy the unreal for the real that is taken away in this present state of affairs. Only you can change all of this and make believe world of the real world of you being a world that sustains you wholly. Never ever will the change so very absolutely essential for a better cosmos happen in a closed-minded system. Only you can cast out the ill of the will, the illusion of the power structure, the mindless corporate non-entity that has no voice by itself, a voice that speaks for the poor and rich alike, this all-consuming monster that has sapped the lifeblood from the real, and in exchange the imitation is sold as to be real. For once in your life, think pure thought. Indwelling in your temple is everything that was, is, and will be. Past, present, future, all wrapped up into the perfect universe called you. You will find that if in full control of your faculties, that I am is ready to enlighten you to whatever is programmed to be passed on through you wherein your creative ability will urge you on to greater potential than you ever dreamed existed. A desire that can't be stifled. This is the real you being made manifest by the I am. It is a criminal offense to subjugate a person to beg for the free exercise of his intelligence. No state or person has the right to the mind other than their own. Money as a medium of exchange has served its purpose well. It has traded the imperfect for the perfect, vis-a-vis -vis computers, and have replaced the biocomputer, making men an automaton life without meaning, as anybody can sell anything without any problems. This list of counterfeit and imitation goods is limitless, endless. Also under cover of misappropriated words, Illusion is the top item on the list of greatest gross sales in recorded history. 6,000 years on the job experience for plundering for plundering's sake. Namely because it pays well. And who is going to take the time and effort to change human nature? You have been victimized by thoughtless involvement into buying all of this illusion. You have been had, brother and sister. So don't pop off and try to deny that and claim you're too smart to have been involved in any swindle. If you think it never happened to you, it is time to get off your high ego trip and do the right thing for once in your life and change. Do you, who claim to be human, care about the rotten state of affairs of mankind? Is there not a single thread of human decency left in your also precious soul, your being? Has life to you grown so dull, so sour, so unlivable to you, where you cease to care? What can I do, you may ask? Only you can make a better world. Nobody will do it for you. If you don't care, no one will look out for you. As friend and foe are looking down the business end of this loaded and ready-to-pop tool of destruction that is being manned by a whole line of non-thinking idiots. Please don't play the act of the fool by trying to shirk your God-given duty or try to delegate your duty to someone else to do it. This is one act that no amount of illusion will cure. The illusion being time, space, money, and policy other than your own. Your time is yours here and now. Your space is the space you occupy. Your money is what you care to know. Your policy is what you do with what you know. All else is only non-profit, superimposed ignorance. War being ignorance made manifest. War being the antithesis of peace. You are the only place peace can dwell. Initially, your being was dedicated to substantiate this peace. Unconditional, uncalculating, non-selective, non-judgmental. All of this might seem high-minded and over and above your comprehension. May the original author of your being advise you that you owe it to I am, that you for the first time in your life recognize this I am. 
This can be done on Earth, here, now. The simple tools necessary were given to you initially. It is up to you to see and know this I am, who is with you always. You were made in the image of the maker of all of outside of you, of which is a perfect cosmos, absolutely without peer. Now you, with whatever is so present, ever so all-knowing, ever so powerful, it is time to divest yourself from this ever so calculating presence of fear. This fear that has no power is of an outside of you source that has no real meaning whatsoever in the realm of this perfect cosmos you were born into. Fear is the non-substance that death is made of. Death is only ignorance made manifest. Knowing that the perfect essence of the living spirit alone made manifest by the I am with you always. If humanity is to turn about face and start doing things for the right reasons, it will need to see with new eyes, hear with new ears, and experience truth with new conviction to the central core of all being, the I am with you always. Your eternal nature, forever free, should be the rule, not the exception. For in the search for peace, truth was the father to occasional glimpses of peace in the past. In an upside-down world, whereas war and warring kept father truth from coexisting with mother peace, only now being aired in its true light in this thesis, the hope of a better world is upon us, only to be made manifest by your responding to the simple truth of your true identity. Better to be active today than radioactive tomorrow.